hello guys this is pro graphics once again and today i'm going to teach you how to create a youtube thumbnail in photoshop and this one is a graphic design tutorial so guys what we are going to do is if you haven't subscribed to my channel please try your best to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell okay let's proceed with today's tutorial now what you are going to do is you go to file then you go to new because youtube is um, a video site so we are going to create our thumbnail to a video um, size frame so what you are going to do is you will come to film over here and the standard hd um, size is 1920 by 1080p so you are going to select that then we will leave the resolution like that then we come to create now when you create this we need to bring in our element some of them you are going to use the tools over here but some of them you are going to have our downloaded element so the next thing is i have some few downloaded elements that i have over here so this one i'll just drag in here then i'll stretch it now guys if you are stretching you don't stretch from this side okay you stretch diagonally so you stretch so that it will fit in then i'll click ok now look at the tools very well over here when this sign this thing means that's a smart object okay so with this I can't do any change unless I rasterize. Okay, so for instance, let me show you something. This one is called the uh, polygonal tool. It is also used in selection. So when I come over here, click here, click here. For instance, I want to make a selection and look at it. And I press on the delete on my keyboard. You can see you could not complete your request because the smart object is not directly editable. So whenever it's a smart object, it's not editable. So I press Ctrl D to take off the selection. Then I left click on this layer. Then I come to rasterize. Uh, rasterize layer. So I click on it. Then now it's editable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this side from here to this side out okay so still with my polygonal tool i come over here click here then come over here come here come here then come over here so i just press on my delete key and it's been deleted so ctrl d to take off the selection now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my picture so my picture so come over i think my picture is over here okay so i'll be using well let me use this one i'll bring it over here and the same thing i'm going to make it a little bit bigger like this okay so i will drag it down so it will be under this one now the next thing i'm going to do is so simple i want to draw a shape and I've also taught you on how to use the pen tool for selection, but today I'm going to use the pen tool to draw a shape. So my shape is going to be something like this, diagonal, then it comes here, then it covers there. So let's see, you choose your pen tool, and this time around, the other tutorial we did with path for the selection, but this one we are going for shape, so we choose for shape. Then I come over here. I didn't use the curvature tool, I used the pen tool itself. So I come over here, click here then come down diagonally like this then come here so you can see my shape has started drawing being drawn then i come over here then guys you can see so i come to my move to and you can see it has been selected very nice so let me click this one guys if you click and it doesn't select what you have clicked that means that your auto select is off so you can put it down up so for instance look at this i'm clicking it's not selected but when the auto select is on when i click you can see that it automatically moves to the particular subject okay good so i can move it to the side a little bit so that the face of the model can show then i'll bring this one over here then Control t to transform Okay, transform again, then bring it down this time around, come like this, okay, let's see, let me push this one a little bit so that the eye can come, 
okay so guys it's as simple as that now if i think i'm having a problem with this uh, um, this particular bag because the white is showing i continue to stretch what i can do is i'll come to uh, the adjustment layers and come to solid color then select this one then bring it down over here then double click and select this color so when i push you will not see the white background again so it can be like this how guys you have seen it so it's like a line is over there to clean the line i come and click this one that is the uh, the maxing layer to mask it then i come for my brush then since the max is white my brush should be black then i paint over here so guys you can see that there's uniformity now so you can see yeah so this is how we do it now we have brought in our background whatever whatever so what we are going to do is we are going to bring our test so let's lock also that there wouldn't be a shift in what we have done okay so let's bring in our test so let me go for the test to let me change the color over here to be white for the meantime so click over here then how okay Control a to select all then i increase the size of it then i change it to bold now you can see that my test is not showing because my test is below this one so i'll drag and bring it to the top over here then select this one oh wow well, you can see so what i'll do is i'll come over here then select this one to change all to caps locks or better still i can delete then press on the caps locks and type so how to install okay then select all then reduce the size so that it can be in frame then click ok if you feel to change the the test to you can change the test the font style okay so let me see if this one no so we have a lot of them so i can just be going let me select this one we're going through okay okay so this one too is not bad let's reduce it okay then come down and you want something simple okay so okay i think this one will be okay then let's increase it a little bit now when you come to graphic design to um the selection of your font is also important so after you are done and you think that so you think that it, it doesn't make your design outstand you can do some small adjustment to your typographies so i'll press on the alt key then click on this one so you can see that the sign have changed that means that i want to duplicate i'll drag it down type raw so the raw i'll increase the size okay like this Okay. then I come for this one again I drag it down then I tap how to install um, the name let me see we are doing how to install Adobe okay so the install will come how to install Adobe camera raw presets okay so how to install so install how to install install is over here adobe adobe camera raw okay so this one so adobe adobe camera okay so let's push this one to to the top okay then bring this one down 
So what you are going to do is you are going to change this one to regular or change the top one to regular. So reduce this one a little bit like this. Click OK. Then let's change this one. When you are done, then we do the colors. So guys, don't worry. We do the colors so that it will match. So camera raw. Then let's use the same font. The same font here. Camera raw. Adobe camera raw. Presets. Okay. So let's select it this way then reduce it a little bit okay come over here then what you are going to do is you start to change the colors to make it stand so come over here select this one come over here then try selecting colors that you think it will match and make your work look attractive so let's see this one i think this one is okay so after you have selected, you come and copy this color code over here. Then you can come here, select the preset, then come over here, double click, then paste your color here. So you can see. Now after you are done, you can come, I've also downloaded um the photoshop logo okay so you click drag and bring it over here can put it over here then what i'm going to do is i'll give it a little drop shadow so you click on this one then you come to blended options then you come to shadows now you can't see it because number one the opacity is down then the distance so you can see the spread so i don't want the spread to be too much okay so i want it to fall like this so let's come here so the opposite side good then let's reduce the opacity small then come over here the shadow let's change the color to some gray good and click okay for this one so guys this is how we create let me close this one this is how you create a thumbnail for um a youtube thumbnail so guys if you find this video to be helpful please subscribe to my channel and don't forget its pro graphics thank you very much and have a pleasant day bye bye